Isaiah chapter 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amoz, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know my people do not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither cleansed with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers, devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard, as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left to us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me? Says the Lord, I am full of burned offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. How is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Your silver is become dross, your wine mixed with water, your princes are rebellious and com companions of thieves. Everyone loves gifts and follows after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither does the cause of the widow come to them. Therefore, says the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. And I will turn my hand upon you and purely purge away your dross and take away all your tin. And I will restore your judges as at the first and your counselors as at the beginning, afterward you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, and her con converts with righteousness, and the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together. And they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed, for they shall be ashamed of the oaks which you have desired, and you shall be confounded for the gardens that you have chosen. For you shall be as an oak whose leaf fades, and as a garden that has no water. And the strong shall be as tow, and the maker of it as a spark. And they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them.